So what's the connection between here and here? Well, today I'm in the village of Betus near Bajen, South Wales. And yes, it does have a connection with LA and its most famous park. One location in the park can be seen in a number of iconic Hollywood films, ranging from Rebel Without a Cause to La La Land. You may have guessed the name already, Griffith Park, and the famous location, the Griffith Observatory, overlooking Los Angeles. So what's the connection? There's a clue in the name Griffith Park. Griffith is a very Welsh name. It's actually named after Griffith Jenkins Griffith, who was born here in Betus back in 1850. He was the son of a poor farmer, but ended up living in Los Angeles, very different to Betis, as you can see. He was actually born in Penabrin Farm. Penabrin is Welsh for top of the hill or hilltop farm. Griffith was orphaned as a child and in 1866, when he was still a teenager, he left Wales and emigrated to the USA to seek his fortune. He studied journalism and headed west to San Francisco, becoming a mining correspondent. But he made his fortune not writing about mining, but investing carefully in silver mining. By the time he moved to Los Angeles in 1882, at the age of 32, he was already a millionaire. However, Griffith wasn't the respectable self-made millionaire he made himself out to be. In fact, his life was a bit bonkers. He was a secret alcoholic, paranoid, and he ended up shooting his wife in the face. But despite all that, and a movement to change the park's name, the park is still called Griffith Park. One of the reasons being the original deeds state that the park cannot be renamed although they did rename Griffith Peak to Mount Hollywood. Anyway, let's take a short drive through the village of Betus in the Garrow Valley, South Wales. I can't believe the sun's out. It's really bright at the moment. Typical Welsh weather all over the place. By the way, Griffith wasn't the only famous person from this area. Richard Price, the moral philosopher and political reformer, he's from the Garrow Valley as well. Richard Price was a supporter and friend of Benjamin Franklin, and he was in close communication with Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, and George Washington. I'd like to point out that 16 of the signatories of the Declaration of Independence were of Welsh descent. But let's go back to Griffith J. Griffith. As mentioned, in 1882, now a rich man, he moved to Los Angeles and bought 4,000 acres of Rancho Los Feliz. While in LA, 
he met and married Christina Mesmer, a member of the wealthy Californian family. They honeymooned in Europe. I forgot to mention, he also referred to himself as Colonel, Colonel Griffith but there's no documentation or any records of him serving and gaining that rank. Maybe it's a better thing. Maybe they're all called Colonel around here. I'll have to ask. In 1896, he donated 3,000 acres of the land he bought to the city of Los Angeles, and they named the park Griffith Park in his honor. Well, it wasn't a bed of roses for Griffiths, Jay Griffiths and his wife. He was drinking heavily. He became paranoid. He actually thought there was a, a plot by the Pope to kill him. And when he was on holiday in Santa Monica at the Arcadia Hotel, he shot his wife in the face, thinking she was part of this paranoid plot. He didn't kill her, but it left her disfigured and she lost her right eye. He was charged with assault with a deadly weapon with the intent to commit murder. Sounds like a charming bloke. He must have had a good lawyer because he was convicted of the lesser charge, assault with a deadly weapon. He was sentenced to two years in San Quentin State Prison. So after his release from prison, Griffith offered the city some more money to build the Greek theater and what he called a hall of science. But obviously due to his, uh, well, shooting his wife in the face, the park commission said no. But following his death in 1919, he left money to the city. And with that money, the city did build the Greek theatre and the Griffith Observatory. Griffith was laid to rest in the Hollywood Cemetery, which is now known as the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. I think before I go, I'll show you a bit more of the Garrow Valley, where Griffith J. Griffith was from. I think I'll walk down to the Garrow River itself and show you that area. It's really picturesque. Let's go and take a look. And hopefully, we'll get a bit of sun as well. Well, the sun's out. So that was the story of Griffith J. Griffith, the Welshman who founded Griffith Park in Los Angeles and was from this area, Betus, near Bergen, South Wales. And as a kid, he probably played in these fields, but maybe not the best role model. Anyway, I've got some more videos coming up shortly about Welsh people and places with American connections. And I'll see you in one of those. Bye. And the clouds just come over again. <laughs> Bye.